nowadays, people are paying a premium for those same opportunities. We say this, you know, you see this every day, Cody, being, you know, ahead of our acquisitions where you're paying a premium for the opportunity to add value. The cap rates for something that has a value add component are lower, arguably sometimes, than the A-class more stabilized opportunities, which can be a little hard to wrap your head around. Like, why would I pay more for something just because it has a little bit more upside versus paying for something the same price or the same cap rate, I should say, for something that doesn't have that same large value add component, but is more stable, right? So, and that's when we talk about execution risks and all the other factors that can kind of come along with it. But uh, I think we're in this cycle or this um, sort of uh, turning of the guard, so to speak, where the, 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 the road's kind of pivoting and it's going in two different directions than it, where it has been going for the last several years. And I think you're, you're starting to see more savvy, educate, not educated, experienced investors starting to pivot towards the higher quality deals because they're noticing the same thing.